checking Facebook earlier today, nice. caught a video that I found was pretty interesting. Uh, it's going to be a wow. zebra attack coming out of uh, Ohio. Wondering, uh, question for the president of Ohio himself, uh, <laughs> when did he start a zebra army on the compound, and how is he getting to train them, uh, you know, taking off arms? It's a pretty serious defense for a zebra. Is he just putting them in a barn and just start on a projector screen, just A.J. Hawk and James Laurinaitis footage? Like, what, what kind of film is he showing them to get these zebras to take arms off? Okay, great question, Alec, and I assume... I haven't been on Facebook in a long time. I assume if it's on there, it's real. Mm -hmm. And it's be. definitely true. I seen on the caption there, it said safari animal behead somebody Ohio. Okay? Oh. Had to see that. Did not know it was potentially a pet zebra. How come Ohio? And we watched Tiger King, mm -hmm. and I think that was Arkansas or something like that. I forget the Oklahoma. Yeah. I forget what state it was. And then the lady who killed her. <clears throat> Carol Bass. Allegedly. Tur turns out no, he's he did back. not. Yeah, they yeah, found him. Back. Yeah, okay. The guy's not dead. Yeah. She did not do anything wrong. She was harassed terribly, allegedly. Right. She's in Carolina, I think, one of the Carolinas. And then that guy that's running a sex cult. I think Bogavon. He, Bogavon he's, in Carolina. he's in the Carolinas, maybe. She's in Florida, maybe? Ah, whatever. So they're always all around there. But it always feels like whenever we hear about these things in a terrible fashion, you know, like Jaguar crosses highway. Panther in tree in neighborhood. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two tigers stroll into a Denny's. Like it's always in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What ha zebras are taking people's heads <laughs> off in Ohio? AJ, why do you guys still have the safari law? And how does this always happen to you fine Ohioans, you think? Well, first off, I would like to see somebody check Facebook, see if that's a true story, because even in his story, he said in the caption it says beheaded, but then he said they bit someone's arm off. So I need to know. It's a big difference, so I need to see that. So it was an also, arm, I believe. It was a month ago. Zito just looked it up. bite it off? Uh, this does like, appear Like a to... wild... Did it get out of an enclosure somewhere? WKBN zebra bites man's arm off in Ohio before oh, being wow. put down. Oh, man. It was like a bee. That? You know, you sting one time, you go on and die. Zebra knew that if it took an arm off a human, <laughs> probably going to die, but had to go down on the zebra's sword. While deputies were treating the man, the zebra continue acting aggressively and charged I wonder did on they deputy's take cruiser. Arm What's that? I wonder did they go back and take his arm back out so they can put it back? Yeah, up. probably. You put it on ice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, probably well, keep it around. It After they cooler. riddled that thing with fucking bullets, I'm sure they went yeah. and grabbed you. Ooh, out. Painted it. How about that thing? Still want another piece <laughs> of that man? What did the man do to the zebra? I don't want to have to ask. Oh. <laughs> probably had him in a cage. Oh, probably had him in a cage his whole life. Right? Okay, yeah, probably that's it. <coughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you see, I you see Mr. Hands. You see Mr. Hands. You know, a zebra is pretty similar to a horse, I guess. But the there. whole. Um, why does this always happen in Ohio? I think the laws have changed. Haven't they changed after the dude in Zanesville had a, you know, had all these oh, wild yeah. animals. He killed him. He opened the door and killed himself and they all escaped. I thought things changed after that. That was, that was a full lockdown, right? Yeah. Yeah. But luckily the animals were so they'd been enclosed for so long. They didn't, not many of them really took off. They kind of hung around the area and they shot all of them. So 911, what's your emergency? Yeah. I'm driving on 70. I just seen a fucking Jaguar. What do you, what yeah. do you a Jaguar, a Jaguar. Where? Just crossed the fucking highway. Mm -hmm. I think it was a jaguar. I, don't, I it didn't. That was not a deer. Big I don't, cat. I don't know. It was not a bear. You tell me. Nine one one. What's your emergency? I just walked out in my backyard. Yeah, a fucking African lion is sitting on top of my swing set. That, that's what ha that was happening, wasn't it? Yeah, that was real. And oh, then yeah. people got pissed that they were shooting them. They said, "Oh, you need to you need to tranquilize them and get them back." And Jungle Jack Hannah's on CNN be like, "Hey, there's like seventy <laughs> lions and." All these crazy animals that could kill you. Like, we don't have time to sit there and shoot them and let them eventually pass out. We're getting more information out of the zebra arm attack. The owner had been burning brush when he turned his back and the zebra attacked him. Sheriff's Lieutenant Jonathan R. Strasser said. He said there were six to seven zebras in a fencing area on the property. Sheriff's deputies responded to an incident of zebra biting a man March 13, 2023. At a farm in Circleville, not to be confused with Centerville, the home of Herb oh. Street and A.J. Hawk. Right. <laughs> Circleville is a different place. An officer positioned a cruiser in an attempt to block the zebras from the victim, but a very hostile large male zebra charged the driver's side door of the vehicle, according to the incident report. The victim was found with a hemorrhage to his right arm below the elbow and was taken away by ambulance. Deputies tending the victim, an officer saw a male. Okay, got it. Coming like, back! The That's family good. authorized deputy, deputies to put down the zebra it said down. Yeah, had to do it. He was just trying really to have him. to authorize it? Well, he didn't get done back. Sounds like he just bit his arm. So he was in their cage, though, right? He was in the zebra cage. Yeah, it like. it he was, was the one. More like a paddock. There you go. Yeah. <laughs>
What was he doing with these zebras? Like, is, he, is it a petting zoo? Do we get to come see him? Large male was obviously a little bit threatened. We don't know if he was, you know, happy here. He's okay, though. Mm -hmm. Don't know what else is going on. They should have just taken yeah. this thing to the zoo and uh, shot it in the head like they did Harambe. <laughs> You know, get him in the zoo, let him eat some peanuts or whatever he right. did, and then shoot him in the head and kill him there. <laughs> they didn't kill Harambe like yeah, that. Yeah, they did. They, they certainly, what, he grabbed, some, he grabbed like a half of a sandwich from someone at the zoo, and they're like, Jesus Christ, shoot this thing in the head right now, and they did. Yeah, but we're in a time now like Lolita. Thanks a lot, Cincinnati. You know, where Harambe Lolita. probably would have just been let back into the jungle. If what happened then had happened, was now. it a half of a sandwich or was it a human being? It might have been a, yeah. a toddler that was Small in there, baby. but I like to remember <laughs> that you know he just grabbed some guy's yeah, peanuts or sandwich, and they they weren't okay with that. Quick question for AJ: I want to know what's behind that uh, that bookcase. Is that like a BDSM dungeon or something? <laughs> oh! <laughs> pew, pew, pew. No, sir. I uh, I have no judgment <laughs> towards anyone that is into that stuff, but it is not a BDSM dungeon back. Is that a part of the Ohio's finest that criteria? Yeah, my yeah you gotta be a weirdo. Whips and chains, handcuffs. Is that what you got back there, AJ? Is that what that cruise is all about? Oh, oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, just your cruise. cruise. Just the cruise you went on. Oh, the no cock buckeye cruise. Mm -hmm. We didn't say no handcuffs. No yeah. buckeye yeah. cruise. You on TV all day to lay or no? Uh, today is more of a uh, make the make phone calls day. Okay, cool. So we can ask you another question. Yep. Then. You don't have to get anywhere. Uh, Ty has a question for you, Rap. He said he didn't even know that happened. I'm like, I did immediately. As soon as I saw you pick up that sandwich, he's not eating it like that. <laughs> what kind of sandwich was it? I don't know. It's, it's just PB&J. Probably. Yeah, it was, uh, high protein. It looked like there was some meat in there, I think. Oh, really? I don't know. It was no, thick. I had meat in it. It was the Master's, white bread. Master's cheese. Yeah, it, yeah, pimento cheese. Pimento, pimento cheese. I don't think he was eating a five dollar pimento cheese in the middle. Probably yeah. peanut butter and jelly. A lot of them take those out. I feel like. Why is that? Good protein, good sugar boost too, right? I don't. I mean, peanut butter and jelly. It, it just tastes very good. I feel. Yes. Like. That's probably why. <laughs> I love PB and J. It's so sure good. Too. Love everything about PB and J. Diagonal. Cut that sucker diagonal. Sorry. Oh, to you oh no, no, you're 100 percent right. Toasted yeah. bread. Toast that bread too. I mean, oh, butter, little butter, little I butter. made that for my daughter this morning for. Uncrustables. Crunchy peanut butter too, right? Mm. We in there every once in a while. I'm into crunchy. Yeah, my kids not so much, but yeah. Oh, they'll learn. They'll get better. Mm -hmm. Fuck they'll get there. Idiot kids. They'll get there. I mean, these kids. <laughs> <not> just, <laughs> there's <laughs> grape. We're grape, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, but I can do the red too if I need yeah. to. I can do the red as well. I didn't even know what it was in my head. I was thinking grape or that strawberry. other one, mm -hmm. strawberry. In line to us, there right to our face, like he eats bread. Okay. Yeah, or or jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah no chance. A lot of sugar in there. Peanut that. butter and jelly is so good. What yeah. do you, you eat, jam? You eat jam, not jelly? Because jelly don't shake. I don't. I mean, jam. What is the difference in jam and jelly? Please. Well, don't <laughs> <Come> <laughs> Let's get to a break. There's an old joke that probably said a lot saying. in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. What is that one? I I, I forget a little bit of. I've what the difference that. between jelly and jam? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. You tell me, dude. <laughs> You're a terrible guy. I'm for real. I I no joke. Forget it. You're the one that brought it up first. So who's terrible? Who's the worst terrible? Oh, I brought it up first. We're actually on camera, bro. Everything we fucking say is recorded. About jamming in something, you can jelly in something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, you know okay. it. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't. I don't know the specific. <laughs> It's crazy you learned that so quick with that big rock head you got. You know what I mean? I don't know it exactly. <laughs> it's like the old Big Johnson shirts. That's what I feel like it is. The same yeah. from those. Hey, those hilarious throwback. People used to say very absurd things publicly on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah. That, that seems to be forgotten every once in a while when somebody says something. They're like, I can't believe you said that. I'm like, do you know what used to just be oh common? God. Common conversation used to be fucking absurd. Yeah, normal. <laughs> that one was just, you're in Ohio. You're down in Georgia. You know what he was saying. <laughs> Iowa, you knew that one. Pittsburgh, that one was being yep. said. That one was just classic street joke. You know the difference between jelly and jam? And then something very offensive. Yeah. Could you imagine fucking the Jim Mercer collection comes in here? Oh, that'd be so And he's put on a concert in the middle of the draft. Does he go wear that costume? The one him and Tex were wearing down yes. there at that movie? That was sick. It yeah. was sick. I was worried about that. Tex, the, um, if you go to Jim Mercer's Twitter... He posted a photo from a movie set. One of Jim Irsay's new things, I believe, is investing in movies. Okay. Be careful, Jim. What's that mean? Producing? Yep. So he's become a producer of movies. I think he's done a few of them. He's on the most recent set of the one he's doing. Him and the head security for the culture a long time. Seemingly now, Jim's security from this photo is what I've taken away from it. Yeah. They need to dress like they're out of the colonial times more often. Yeah, they yeah. do that every day. These two look fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Trying to see if Bruce is found here or not, or if he's even attempting to. Well, I mean, the other thing. He's oh. got it. Boom! 
Jim looks awesome. Yes, he yeah, does. Yeah. Dress Look. like that every day. And then Tex looks like he's going to the butcher shop. Mm -hmm. That's Tex, by the way. You don't want to run into that guy. No. Tex is the Colts security guy for a long time now. It appears as if he just hangs out with Jim and dresses up in costumes with him. Jim was doing some line readings, too. He sounded damn. He was in character. <sighs> is Tex in character, too? I didn't listen to the video. They both were. Fuck yeah, dude. How, how, how are the Colts ever going to win a Super Bowl? <clears throat> Why? Because our owner's playing cosplay? What, Bingo. what are you... Bingo. What's Peter, wrong with that? Yes, Peter that's actually Bird. exactly the Oh, point. sue me. Oh, okay. Bird. Don't actually. Vinny's, yes, Vinny's please. dream role. Bingo. Whatever. You remember that fucking asshole kid from Texas to try to shut it all down? Yep. With his dad's oil money? Yeah. That's right. Travis McCradle. Boom. <laughs> I have no clue what you guys are talking about. Oh, this this kid that comes from oil money invested in the uh, Entourage movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His dad okay. is Billy Bob Thornton. And the then, uh, the then, I See Dead People kid. Yes. Yeah. And then Vinny Chase fucked his girl. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, boo-hoo. Yeah. Emily Radzikowski. Exactly. Okay. He I tried to tank the movie. And he tried to ruin it all. This is bad. Do this, do this, do that. Yeah. He said drama Jim stinks in it. Boom. That was all a lie. Okay. Drama was great in it. And he's banging hookers. Jim ain't. Boom. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Jim ain't like that about any of that. Jim just wants good content. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's why him making movies is great for the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, because I thought he just wants two Super Bowls by 2030, though. That's what he told Chris. We were told that, yeah. He's going to get two Oscars. Which so. kind of. Similar. Yeah. That's why they built the statue out there. Let's get to a break. Organization is never going to win a fucking thing. Oh, sorry. The guy has other interests outside of just Colts football. Uh, no, hey, absolutely. But what? After the draft, he's got four months to dick around on sets. He was ready to answer any question that Chris Ballard had on set. Of course. <laughs> no, I'm more in that in that uh, thing that yeah. Tex was wearing. Yeah. Yep. All of his notes from the draft. That's oh. right. Pull that video back up, please. Could we please pull that video back up? <laughs> Tex had all of Jim Mercy's notes. Boom. Right. right in the front there. Tucked yep. in there. Like a marsupial of notes. Okay. That's what he had in the front. Well said. Is he a welder? or Might be a blacksmith. Blacksmith, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a blacksmith. Dude, Tex? Yeah. Tex is a butcher. That, right in that, uh... That does look like a, a butcher's get up. Butcher tart. Look at the, the shoes say... Jim ain't fucking around. Look at that cane and sword or whatever the fuck that is. That, that thing is cool. Does it have a leash on it? What's... I don't know. Yeah, what, what's this movie about, huh? It's about winning Super Bowls. You would never understand it. Well, I don't think Jim would either, but uh, <laughs> I, I do think uh, I'd be more worried about a Alec Baldwin Russ situation. Whoa! Than Jim. All charges were dropped. Something happened there. Right. I did see that mm -hmm. over the weekend. We hope nobody ever dies ever again, but we do fear people will. <laughs> people. Let's get to a break. AJ Hawk on the other side. Hope we never have Plus to. Plus, we. Uh, there was a time where we had to do a moment of silence. Yeah, I hated that. And genuinely wished. I feel like we all had a genuine yeah. hope. That we would never have to do it the again. Last one ever. Thought there was a chance we wouldn't either. It's a shame. Happens all the time. Mm. It does. I hate it. It's I'm done with it. Yeah. Starting today, never happens again. You know where people like send flash bombs off and stuff? Oh, yeah. While you're taking the test, like, hey, no matter what, get through this test. There's going to be some stuff. They throw in like a, grin a smoke grenade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple flashbangs. <laughs> yeah. Fake, fake sounds of guns. While they're taking this test. Yeah. That would potentially yep. put them in a little bit of a... Yeah. Maybe have Jalen Carter come turn the corner. Mm -hmm. Like, as they're taking the test, you know, like... Yeah. Uh, combine, not pro day. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's coming around pretty quickly, and it's like they have to answer a question while that's happening. That's a good idea. Shake the chair. Have, like, one of those IMAX chairs. Oh, like we saw Top Gun in. Yeah, bingo. Yeah. Simulate a kidnapping of your family. Yeah. There you go. Put a bag of poop under his desk. Light it on fire. Yep. Boom. Yep. I think it's only, four, they said 45 minutes, five minutes each test, nine tests. Bang. Quick math. AJ. Didn't even hear what you said. But yeah. <laughs> Failed. 45. Yep. Told you. Don't, not numbers. Yeah, you said numbers, you know I zone out. Yeah. 40 to 60 is average human. AJ right there, not even listening. I was just thinking of all the distractions you could throw at the guy. That's all I'm thinking. Let's go. Let's brainstorm here for Brandon. Go ahead. Let's hear what I you're mean, thinking. Everything. To have like random, just randomly have like, Couple people fornicating in the in the corner yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, Boom. Look at yeah. that. Hey, impulse control. Here we go. But if you had office linebacker Terry Tate spear someone through a table next. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. That's feather, what we're talking about. Feather on the ear somebody. and on the feet. Have, Tickle a guy. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, because ah, 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 and then impulse. shoot somebody, assassinate somebody right in the room, but it's really not real. But the, the special effects make it look so real, you think he's dead. Yeah. So you're paying for the camera, and you're paying for that yeah. iPad that's in front of you. Mm -hmm. Now pay for a holograph, yeah. pretty much, right. of a man getting shot right in the head, right in front of this. Jim person. Cameron. Jim Cameron will build a rig to make it look at his head explode. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was talking. You're right. When you were kids in school. Did you ever put itchy powder someone down someone's back? Oh, so rude. Mm -hmm. Good luck taking a test with that. Maybe just even as as little as an ice cube down. The back of the yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't put a Gatorade bath on top of them while they're doing it. Finish the oh. test. Yeah. yeah. Finish the test. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. I have like a drill sergeant just in there the whole yeah. time. Hey! Finish the goddamn test. <laughs> yeah. You get to be here. <laughs> All right, make so we're just brainstorming. Yeah, jelly of Sibian while they're fucking yeah. test. Boom. Oh, Hell yeah. Vibrating floor, you're saying. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe make them stand over a mirror, straddle it with no pants on, so they have to look down and see if their ass is a hole in the ground. That's right. Yeah. Maybe make the pencil like a double-sided <laughs> dildo, and they have to hold on to it while they're writing. So they can't get distracted by the exactly. immaturity of the pencil. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, boom. Big one. And they, <laughs> that, thing is, yeah. that thing's like this. Yeah. The oh, <laughs> they got to write their name. Yeah. Yep. It's four on the bottom. Very you important. Got someone grabbing the top of it and trying to like force it into their ear and their <laughs> yeah. mouth and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Finish the test! Yeah, exactly. exactly. Finish the test! Yeah. They need to stream this live. I need to see watch these guys take it, man. That'd be amazing. So I'm trying to write my name in this damn double header just flopping all over the place. You know how hard it is to write how's, how's this correlate to football? <laughs> Finish, Finish the test! test. <laughs> uh, sorry, Brandon. We know you worked very hard. Yeah. But that would help. Yeah. <laughs> Variation. <laughs> Just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> this could get pretty costly with all the different things we're going to throw out. They're already yeah. spending. Look, they're already yeah. spending. They got Soviet-type technology That's in right. there. That's right. Not that much. Oh, this wire shows the worst. <laughs> Never forget it. Oh, maybe they should use our ideas, though. I mean, I think everything that we just listed would actually. I would. If, I need to know yeah. if the future quarterback of maybe my team can write his name in cursive with a double-sided dildo yeah. pencil. Bingo. 16 inches at least. Need a good flop yeah. both ways. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know that if someone gets both shot ways. in the head in front of them. It needs to be like a full balancing act, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. That'll be a part of it, yeah. you know? And they have to, it'll be, uh, so it'll be a pen. It'll be an, <laughs> it'll be on an iPad. Yeah. And they have to fill in the, like, so they have to get it right or it goes back to the beginning. Sure. Yeah. And they finish the test. There we go. Yeah. So you got to balance the, uh -huh. the floppy dog. What do you do with the pencil when you're done? Well, you obviously, to, you give it to <laughs> you give, Yeah, you give it to the two people having yeah. sex in the court. Like a gentleman. You give a little kiss, and then you hand it <laughs> off. Right. Well, it depends yeah. on what you do. That'll be a part of the judgment. Uh -huh. yeah. Did yeah. hand it off to the, to the yeah. couple. Yeah. Right. Like a gentleman. <laughs> Kept it for himself, put it in his back pocket. Yep. Yeah. Here, pal, seems like you're having a hard time. Use this. <laughs> Anyways. We're just trying to get the best cognitive test scores that we could possibly get because we don't want NFL teams to miss on quarterbacks anymore. No right. more busts. These are high picks. We don't want to have to do that anymore. Trying to save you money. Nice. Boom. That yeah. One, yeah. Bucket. That one was always meant. <laughs> yeah, there was no chance. That was <laughs> there you have it. We knew we had it right. The universe just told us. That's right. You're welcome, mess 2 If you need anything else from the non-doctors of the group, Please let us know. Joining us now is a man who was a general manager in the NFL. Right. He was a consigliere in the NFL, right. mm -hmm. a consultant. He's right. an author, a host, a podcaster, a TED talker, a New York Times bestseller. Ladies and gentlemen, absolute paisan of the paisans, Michael Lombardi. Yeah. Hey, everyone. How are we doing? Hey, good. How are you doing? What are you up to today, boss? Uh, you know, I got to get my car service because I'm headed back east. So I'm here at the Lexus dealership of Las Vegas, enjoying my conversation with you. This is a this is an interesting world to live in. I, I've never done this before, but it's good. It's all good. <laughs> nice what, to be out amongst the people. What are you doing? Are you negotiating like prices per mile? How is this? No, I, I, I don't know anything about a car. So whatever they tell me is wrong with the car, I'm just going to accept it and move on. You know, <laughs> I have no idea. I really, don't. I, I grew up in Jersey, Pat. We barely know how to put gas in the car. You know, you don't have to put pump in Jersey. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you guys do got Bruce Springsteen though. Mm, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You got the boss. You do the got boss. the boss though. Okay? We're always racing in the street. Yeah, we're always racing in the street. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. Uh, let's dive in here while you're at the Lexus dealership, and hopefully, they don't fuck you too much. You know, that seems to be them just deciding. I'm in the children's room. I don't think I, I, I'm in good shape. I found my spot. I'm in good shape. I'm not talking about actual fornicating with you. I'm just talking about the deal <laughs> that day. AJ, relax. Anyways, this is not supposed to be a shot at the Colts whatsoever. What's your deal? But if like this test was given to Andrew Luck, is this test going to tell you? 
that Andrew Luck is going to retire eight years into the, his career because he doesn't love football? Is that going <laughs> to doesn't happen? love football? Because he does. He, he fell out of love of football because he, he was getting killed. He repeatedly. loved football. He just loved fucking shredding pow more. Okay, absolutely. No, he did love shredding fresh pow. Okay, mm -hmm. guy grew up in the fucking Alps. Okay. Yeah, what do you want from him? That was just part of I society. Love yeah. Pow. Guy Respect. used to snowboard to school. <laughs> yeah, that's what he that. had to do. Love that yeah. for Andy. Hey, where's your school at? Two mountains down. I gotta go down Black Diamond, yeah. down the Blue One, down the Bunny Hill, and then I'm in first period. Yeah. yeah. Then he'd hop on that snowboard, do the waddle thing, back up the goddamn gongola or whatever the hell it is, yeah. up to the top <laughs> of the mountain, the and that's what he had to do yeah. every single day. So of course he likes shredding fresh pile, okay? Yeah. yeah. On his snowboard. Why did the test say that? Not yeah. Nothing wrong with him. Where did he grow shredding up? Fresh pile. Germany. Shoot. He did he? This, he yeah. really did grow up in like Europe. Yeah. That is not him. I would like to do that. <laughs> sure. is, that is a. <laughs> what's funny, AJ? Sure, that, that looks. looks like, sure looks a lot like. That him. looks like him. His legs are way bigger than this guy's. That is not him. I'm sure? certain of it. That is a good question. What does, what does the test tell us? Does it like you can go back? Yeah. That is not Andrew Luck. Just need to clear sure? that up. The internet, you never know. That looks exactly like Andrew Luck snowboard. Well, yeah, it is his <laughs> face, dude. That's. I don't think that's him live. Why they put, why they put him on Mitt's leg? <laughs> Actually, that is a great point because if this was Andrew Luck, he wouldn't have got hurt because he got shoulder pads. Correct. I do wish he wore shoulder pads more Snow while he was snowboarding. Yeah. I wish those two parties came together. Yeah. I wish where two became one in Andrew's life was the shoulder pads on the thing. But nonetheless, that doesn't change anything. He was a great fucking player. Oh, absolutely. He was an incredible player. Unbelievable. But does that test tell you whether or not you're going to have an offensive line that's just going to be a turnstile and let you just get murdered for the first six, seven years mm -hmm. of your career? So that inevitably, every day when you wake up, you're like, why am I doing this? I have one of the biggest brains on earth. Is that going to tell you that? We don't know. Probably not. Or is it going to tell you maybe, hey, look, you should probably be in the X Games. So although you are very good at There's throwing, a chance he still is. Let's not. I don't think that picture is real because the cloud behind him looks fake. Is that the chem chemtrails? What is it? That is him. I I, I don't. I think see. it's a fake photo. I That's think this is a fake. Him. I don't see the debate here. I've never seen think, this photo. I mean, look, he just decided to wear his shoulder pads and jersey. That's all it his is. His right yeah. forearm is significantly bigger than his left. Forearm. I've Which never, might be real. He was a righty. Yeah. Never seen him that happy on a football field either. No. So he did love snowboarding. That's You're crazy. lying. That's true. When was he? The guy? All the time. I see the guy was fiery when he what, had to be. When he, he was, he when he was leaving the field. Hey, that's not safe. He should be wearing a helmet because I know he's, he's a big risk fucking risk. jump guy. That is not him. This is a fake photo. I still just don't see. He just got off the gongola in the back. I do see the gongola. <laughs> Looks strong. Put that G in there. <laughs> Onola? Gongola? Second G. There you go. You got it. Gongola. Gone, but definitely no gondola. You still add. put a D where the <laughs> where no their D. second G is. Yeah, <laughs> gondola. Yeah, got it. Like, I'm not a big skier. I don't know fresh pile that well. <sighs> Both the drug and the snow. Mm -hmm. I don't know either that well. Never been on the gondola. Yeah, I know both of them very well. And let me just say, the gondola is the best. Part a lot of, of people any. smoke Gung pot ja. on the fucking gondolas. Uh, yeah. They're smoking dope on the, the gondola. Ja. Yeah, bongola. The gondola. The gondola. The gondola. Uh huh. A lot of one hitters. Maybe I'm supposed to be in the fresh power world. I, I was just going to say. We got a gondola? It yeah. is a big, um, I don't want to say marijuana community because they do all types of stuff in the gondola. But I do feel as because it's, it's a good, nice little time. I mean, we know, man, Colorado. What do they do in Colorado? They ski, they party, and they smoke dope. And they ride. And they ride. Let's ride. Let's go to the fronts. Anyways, that was not an actual photo of Andrew Locke. Just want to make sure everybody knows confirmed. that. Maybe. We don't I know, don't for know sure. that. Confirmed. We do know for sure. I don't know it's that. Not confirmed. Sure. Definitely not confirmed. Anyways, he's from Europe. He grew up in, uh, his dad was the commish of the World League. Yeah. Oh, that's NFL right. NFL Europe. I think he lived in Germany. He actually watched Adam Vinatieri play for the Amsterdam Admirals as a child. Good squad. I heard that story live in front of me when Andrew told Adam that that was gay. That was a cool moment. Andrew, Andrew loved football. Andrew was incredible at football. Yeah, he was very good. I wish we would have been able to see long-term Andrew. Me too. But there's a guy who had options in a situation that was like, you know what, I'm not just going to get my ass kicked anymore. So Angel say, we need Chris in on this. Chris has been getting his ass kicked. Dude, he was in the hospital last week. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, a, what he, happened? He had a black eye from fight training, and he had an IV in his arm. I don't know what happened, but he was in the hospital with a black eye. And in his caption, he said, "Not he's not in there because of the fighting. The black eye, though, is from his training. So... He's fighting Frank Mir right now. Yeah. Okay, every day. He's I still doing. 
What's that, AJ? Wait, you didn't see? He the- looks awesome. He uh, does he yeah. setting up a match with? Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say who what? was going to fight, but <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, <laughs> think about how toxic. Yeah. Think about. Oh, on. oh. Man, I am growing up. I, I'm proud of myself. I'm so much. Setting one a program with who? It's honestly not even next, that big a deal, but I'm still not going to say that. It. Had yeah, to like, be. He, he looks so good, dude. The red, <laughs> the red, the red. Yeah, here's him training right here. <laughs> Can he just float the guys? Bro, look, yeah, yeah, wait till you see what he's about to do. He's about to take his hips off. Bang, down, pin, dead. Oh, Chris Angel don't... wins. I why does he break video. him in half after he does it? Yeah, why doesn't he just take his legs yeah. off while he's on the bottom? <laughs> it's not always like, you know, you don't just walk up to like Jesus look at those, Christ. Oh, look at his say, hips. Hey, you're a, Boom, you're he a contractor. Hip. Build something. Okay. Okay. That's not what Chris Angel Chris Angel doesn't have to take people's lower torsos off their upper torsos yeah, fair every enough. single day. Okay, the guy's just trying to get better. And you're making fun of him. Yeah, I mean, and that I'm would not. kind of be cheating, and he honors the game as he does honor everything. But is he setting up like a UFC celebrity match against Carrot Top, or is he trying to get in the ring against, you know, McGregor? <laughs> we don't need to be thinking about him fighting Carrot Top. We need to think oh, about him no. fighting whatever's going on with him here. Boy. Chris Angel, tease and oh. peace, pal. Fun, funny, funny. Hey, we're on your side. Hey, Chris. Love you, Chris. Oh, no. Love you, Chris. Love you, Chris. He actually took off his own leg, legs while he was in the hospital because he didn't want to do a catheter on his own, so he just took his legs off and left him in the bathroom so he didn't have to use a catheter. See, that's so genius. his penis is still there and the legs in the bathroom? Yeah, so when after he drinks, he just pees in the bathroom yeah. immediately. Could you imagine the nurse trying <laughs> to... We don't know if any of this is true. Trying to put that <laughs> IV in his arm? No, he did it himself. It floated right Exactly. In. I, see, I thought it was more so of a Superman effect where they tried to poke his skin with a needle and the, the needle hand, bent. Why is his hand on his heart? Oh, because he was he was actually getting himself CPR. Yeah. Oh, Who I thought... took the picture? <laughs> Elias. Elias. Elias' family took the picture. All right, let's get to the phones. Chris, we fucking love you, buddy. He has... What happened? We need some context. No, you can't just put that out there. We need to know. Yeah, what happened? You all right? Like, I know Jamie Foxx in the hospital, too. Are these guys okay? Jamie Foxx, I think, got out, right? Yeah, he's all right. He's okay. Okay, Jamie. Can't okay. lose Jamie. Can't lose Chris. Happy you're both okay, I do believe. If you're not... Well wishes. Can't wait to see you on the other side, Chris. I do believe Jamie's okay. At Boston, Connor, can't wait to see your performance tomorrow night in the draft spectacular, pal. Yeah, very excited for it. Last year, you know, dressed as a stormtrooper. You know, what was just kind of figuring, you know, might as well mix it up. And then this year, we got something cooking. I oh, feel yeah. very, very good about it. Uh, you might want to dial it up to about 20, pal, because there's reports on the internet, mm. which... One half of the hammer, Don Cowboys Tone Diggs loves to quote on this particular program. Sure. sure. And it pisses a lot of people off. I don't know where you're going to be getting some of your quotes from now, though, huh? Oh, oh no. Your, your guy, your Lord and Savior, Lee. Oh, Don Carlson. Yeah. Oh, no. He's out. Oh, no. no. Uh, I watched the other guy left, Mr. Levin. Yeah, but nobody's calling you Tone Lemon. No, no, no. That's because everyone Tone. in the chat stinks in their fucking marks. <laughs> All right. Oh. See, don't need that type of hostility. It's a big week for us. <laughs> what are you getting there? What are you getting? We getting um, we getting some ribs? We getting uh, burnt yeah. ends? Ribs, brisket, burnt ends. Whatever right. they bring, I'm rolling up the sleeves and knocking it down. Do you do the plain ass piece of bread too why do they do that why what is the oh you, you, talk, you talk about the white bread yeah the why is bread why are we taking up any space with that no opportunity here's our all all, all, it, all it's doing is sopping up sopping up the sauce man that's all it's doing sopping up the sauce oh <laughs> there you go you sop it you, you don't want to leave it you want a clean a plate soup. when it's all over pat it's a soup mm. got it yes got it. sop it up we appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Davis. Yeah, Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Can't say he's got good meat. You got some of the best in the world, right? Yes. Think about that meat in your mouth over there at Arthur Bryant's. It's world famous meat in your mouth. So, so many hole in the wall places you can go get meat in your mouth, too, man. <laughs> yeah, plenty. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, we'll start taking some calls on the fire engine phone line. How good do you feel with that? Sitting on it. You felt well, I mean, so you good. set me up. You, I, he mentioned hole in the wall places. Got me thinking early, and then that's all I could think about. <laughs> yeah. Remember the old studio? There was a hole in the wall place right behind you. Yeah. That's Put what your you dong are. in there. Yeah, I Pat, didn't say that. We know what you're talking about. Hole in the wall, Charles. We know what you're talking about. Trying to get that glory barbecue. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. All right. We'll take some phone calls on the 5 your phone line. One, How do you think he would have responded to that, by the way? Sorry to cut you off. How would he have responded? Do you think he would have picked up on it? Hey, Charles, yeah. what AJ's talking about is glory hole. Is that where you're heading right now, Charles? He's Are you going to nice. a truck stop? or He's, what he's so nice. Such he's a, big such guy. a nice guy. <laughs> Always making jokes. <laughs> such a nice guy. There's no reason for us to bring that into his life. The, uh... He's just trying to live a nice, 
good life. Happy There's no reason for you to bring your toxicity. I didn't. That's why I waited until he was off the show. <laughs> Let's go to Bob in Oklahoma on the Five Energy phone line. What's going on, Bob? Hey, Bob. Oh, how's it going? Keep it moving. What's Hell that, pal? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. How's it going? Keep it moving, boys. Nailed it. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, totally nailed, nailed it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, quick. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Absolutely. I, I got, uh, this is the worst call. The worst call the uh, no, it's good, Bob. No, it's keep, good. Keep going. It's a great call. Okay, I've got a Bob. This is a great call right now. Oh, One of the best. Love you, okay, Bob. Gonna... Hell yeah, Bob. Bob. Let's go, Bob. 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 Bob
We appreciate the hell out of you, man. Mad Mel, you at a new place over there with Brandon B? Where are you over there, pal? Yeah, unfortunately, it's been a rough night. Like I said, my ears are so fucked because this thing is just going crazy from uh, how much water I've kind of taken on. Uh, it's been a rough night for me, to be honest. So I, had, I, I, I wound up at one of my favorite spots of the entire country. Uh, this is Bazookas. I be uh, Bazookas over here. Sorry. I believe this is the best titty bar in the Midwest, <laughs> if not, <laughs> if not the entire United like three States. Stories. Okay. Three stories. That's exactly right, AJ. Uh, great drink deals. I'll tell you what. I smell like hammered asshole, so I don't even know if they're going to let me in right now. But nah, think... if you're ever in the greater Kansas City area, drop whatever you're doing. Okay? Whatever you're doing. I don't care what it is. You know, you got dinner plans. You know, right. whatever you're doing. Come to Bazookas for at least a couple hours, okay? Right. Especially on the weekends. It is absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait to get in there. All We're right. talking cannons, people. Whoa. Right. There's a reason they call it Bazookas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mad Mel. Uh, sorry that your night has led you there. You know, anytime you end up there, yeah. you're wishing and hoping for something different. <laughs> nope, still out here, O-line, D-line. And, you know, you talked about it. You get a, a physical, explosive, athletic freak. This guy could be engineering our return trip to the moon, but instead he's fucking playing for the Super Bowl runner-up Philadelphia Eagles. What a night. What a pick. Matt Mel, we already had the technology to get to the moon, right? Why yeah. would we have to re-engineer that? Don't we already have I that? I certainly believe that, okay? <laughs> I certainly believe that. But a lot of these assholes on the internet, you know, want to want to go up and say something to John Glenn, you know, make him fucking swing on him. Uh, maybe they think Stanley Kubrick, you know, Filmed it on a fucking Paramount lot in L.A. in Whoa. the 1960s. It's bullshit. We went to the moon. Nolan Smith has the smarts and the brains to get us back there one more time. Okay. We are still the Space Race champions. Okay, I'm sure we are. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm sure we are. I'm certain of it. It's not a discount. Magician, magical Michael Bolton, who is the American. <laughs> that was not his name. You were saying a lot of terrible things about yeah. blonde. Did you call him blonde, Jovi? No, Bon Jovi. Oh, Bon Jovi. Because I did think Blonde Jovi, not a bad name for somebody. Yeah, that's sweet, though, too. Yeah. But, I mean, he, what was he, American Magic Hero? American uh, Escape Hero. Yeah. You're, you're a pig. He is, he is a hero, though. Oh, shit. Matt I mean, Mel that's loved him. Who? Matt Mel loved him. Mad Mel was just, Mad Mel could not take him serious. And I don't know if you remember anything to say, because you're all hopped up on prednisone and all that mm -hmm. other stuff. You did not give the American Escape Hero a shot. I want to let you know that. You did not even give the guy a chance. Mad Mel had zero time for the fuckery that the American Escape Hero wanted to put us through. And I appreciate you chiming in. But how to get out of that rope? Well, it was clearly gimmicks. That's how he got out of the rope. Well, that was we your know. first reaction. Exactly. No way. Mad exactly. Mel respects the draft. He's a hero. Just like when Rich well, Eisen didn't like Blue Man Group coming up on the stage disrespecting Well, it wasn't draft. that. It was that, <laughs> you know, he, he had a couple of the jokes, and it's like, I get it. You got to kind of get the people to buy in. But then I thought, like, okay, we got to make sure this guy doesn't get too comfortable up here. Because... He said 20 minutes at the beginning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I said, and whoa, I, whoa, and, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, you don't. You do not have 20. And we were at the point where it was kind of getting like, uh, okay, who's going to go here? Like, we really didn't. Levis is still sitting there. You know, everyone's talking about Michael Mayer. And then we, I had also, like, all I was thinking was like, God damn it, I filmed that Michael Mayer thing, okay? And if he doesn't go in the first round, like, that's just good. It's not going to be good. So I was kind of like, hey, let's get this fucking guy out of here. And then. It just so happened that the table was right behind him, and AQ and Pac-Man were standing there, and I, I just started thinking, take, and I was like, man, it would be awesome if both these guys just grabbed him. Double throat, choke slam. Double choke slam through that table. That'd be a great way for the American escape hero to kind of Could you, know, you imagine that get off. him in the ch for the choke slam, though, and he wiggles out of it? That'd yeah. be even better. Choke but, slams both of them. Uh -oh. He wanted to do the needles first, I think. That was... Pretty cool. That was pretty I impressive. Threw up. I don't know how he did that. That one was weird. Connor, you're up in that guy's mouth. Yeah. What did you see? Uh, I saw a lot of plaque, a lot of bad, bad right. teeth. <laughs> Let's uh, get through a but, break. But Obviously, you can't say anything serious ever. No, I mean, that's honestly. what I saw. I am glad that I was back there <laughs> yeah. and not like where you were sitting, seeing him pull those things out, though. I, I was direct eyes on mouth. Yeah. The not thing, AQ's behemoth body was blocking. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to pull and fall, though. So I was worried about... You know, hey, front, yeah. we got yeah. a little stone cold. Yeah, right. 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 We, don't, we, we don't need any of that. So my big thing was like, let's not have this big animal yeah. fall whenever whatever happens about to happen. And then Pac-Man and AQ, they were dumbfounded when that guy got out. Yeah. Pac-Man was like, that guy's hands were very red. Like, that was very tight on him. AQ's like, I tied the knot, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you had your safe finger. And that guy was out of it before we even seen it. He was. It was a flash. A lot of people had not so nice things to say about 
Michael, the American what? escape hero, but what? by far the worst and most despicable was AJ Hawk. He was <laughs> disgusting the way he was talking about that. That is true. American escape hero. I would like to thank him for coming here. Yeah. And for his it wasn't a self that's not a self given nickname, okay? The the community of magicians gave him that that nickname. That's not a self given right. nickname. Okay, that was I, I I believe the greatest of the greats gave him that name. Houdini, I think, actually gave him that nickname. Yeah, he's got a purple heart from magicians, so I don't know why we're right. just running. Let's get to a here. break. Thank you to the magician. Thank you, Thank Michael. You. Thank shout you out American Red Panda. Escape Hero. Shout out to the Ooses in Utah. Yep. And shout out to hockey, huh? Yo. Yo. I want to know. Why the two stooges in the front row are always fucking with the Ohio legend, A.J. Hawk. Hey, Bob, I fucking love you, Bob. Where are you from? What part of Ohio? Parma. Parma? Yeah, right outside Cleveland. Oh, hell yeah. All right, Bob, we appreciate your service to Ohio. And your Ohio champion appreciates and respects you calling in. Questioning two people that think they can pop off to the Ohio champion. You're disrespecting an entire state whenever you say something about this man right here, Connor. Do that, you know that? That's what Parma Bob. That was just, not that was not directed towards me and Ty. There is no way he is saying that we disrespect AJ. We never do. I wore his fucking jersey last night as an homage to the player and man AJ Hawkins. Yeah, Bob, when you fucking sign AJ's game checks, then maybe you can fucking come back and talk to me. I've been <laughs> that for I don't know how many years. How many years were you an owner of, of the team while AJ was playing? Uh, let's see. That was gifted to me when I graduated from high school, so probably only like three or four. Still his employer. Has Bob ever done that? I don't think so. Mm-mm, no. Suck it, Bob. Let's go to Steven in Michigan on the Five Energy <laughs> phone line. What's going on, Steven? Matt, the boys, how we doing? Keep, Keep it moving. moving. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, Steven's big high. time, I've been a long time Lions fan my whole life. Um, <laughs> but, hey. That, hey, was hey. that wasn't the call. You know, I had Sorry, to go in. Uh, Steve. I used to be a Browns fan. Jesus. But after they did <laughs> Baker wrong. You do Baker wrong. I had to move on. That's you. And uh, that's I guys. said, whoever Richardson goes to. That's what I offer. That, that, that's my new. Uh, that's my new team. Please so don't. I'm a nice. Colts fan now, boys. Congrats. Yeah! Hey! 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 Sweet. Congrats. Congrats. Sweet. Congrats! You got the Congrats. worst fan in the history of the NFL. <laughs> you want to watch the game on a, oh, yeah. on a ground level suite? Send him your number. He changed. He became a fan literally right before Jim's tweet. He's a fan. That's what happened. Wow, that's true. Steven, good call, need Bob. That energy in the stadium. The Browns to the Lions. To the Colts. To the Colts. So Jeez if, Louise, this guy has God, zero man. happiness in, the, in his NFL fandom. And when he left the Browns, they probably went to the playoffs. And when he left the Lions, they are probably going to go to the playoffs this year. Yeah. Oh, great. So at least we know that Steven got here. There is a sunrise on the horizon. Yeah. That's right. We are currently in the darkness, but the light will be found. Well, is al- yeah. alive. Nice. Driving. Living very well out in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Love that. What'd you say? Is that the one that got released from captivity after yeah. like 50 years? Big, yeah, Jim Irsay yeah. paid oh. for it to release. Oh, it's doing mm-hmm. well. Yeah, definitely not dead. Yeah, I bought the app just like you could follow uh, Santa Claus, like Santa Tracker on on uh, Christmas Eve. I bought the app yeah. for the whales. It's doing fucking great. Lolita's oh. gro- joined a uh, crew. Yeah. yeah. Got a squad. A pod. Right. Yeah, a pod. Got a pod. They're, really? they're heading nice. down to South Africa right now. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. They're really. making their way across the Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. that whale's alive. Definitely. There, there it is. That picture was taken yesterday. There's Lolita. <laughs> Live. Oh. For those that don't know who we're talking about, uh, there's a whale down in Miami who's been in captivity for like ever. Yeah, like 50 plus years. And uh, Jim Mercer helped free. He did. Thank that you, that yeah. whale. Yep. Thank you, Jim. Lolita wanted out of there. I, I don't know what Lolita was saying or doing to indicate that she needed out of captivity. What if she was just fucking full speed right into the glass head first? Boom. I don't doubt And then it. concussed down to the bottom. Mm-hmm. Got to breathe. Back to the other side. That's what Willie was doing. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> just for like two months straight. Holy fuck. Seems like Lolita wants out of here. Yeah. Jim's like, I got you. Yep. Here's $20 million. Mm-hmm. And Lolita was able to survive and thrive out there in the wild. In I the hope. ocean. After Thank not being there for 30 years, 40 years. Yeah, she's alive and well. I'm, uh, I'm sure of it. You're yeah. down there in South Florida. You got eyes yep. on Lolita? Or? Nah, absolutely not. Stay well, away from that. What do you think Lolita's doing right now? Uh, I mean, she's probably been eating and shit out already. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah? What is your problem? What do you mean? Oh, no, actually, 50 years. no, actually, yesterday I saw videos. Uh, she tipped over a, a refugee boat and fucking ate a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, that would what? make more sense for Lolita. Come on. Hell yeah. She probably has more than a few gripes with humans, if I had to guess. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what oh, saying. She ain't eating seals. She's eating people. Yeah. Let's go to the phones. Tilikum. Bingo. Powder? I mean, what if Jim messed up and put her put this <laughs> whale in a freshwater lake? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. If they're a pack, go check it out. Yeah. yeah. A lot of gators. Lake down there. Monroe, are you kidding me? Let's go to the phones. All right. We hope we know Lolita's living. She's great. And yeah. she loves humans. Yeah. Well. You, Jim Ursay, <laughs> let her out. Okay. He so, loves Jim. She I mean, he, Lolita probably killed. 12 to 15 people at SeaWorld. <laughs> That's part of the reason they had to hey, this. Hey, that thing. blackfish thing really changed how a lot of people started viewing. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I, crazy. I, that is, Got rid of SeaWorld. That is burned it? in my brain, seeing that fucking mm -hmm. killer whale grab that worker and slam their head off the, that enclosure and kill them instantly. I was like, oh, yeah, maybe these things don't love being inside. So here. smart, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so smart. And it's like... That was a tough dock for the entire yeah. Yeah. animal safari. Changed everything, zoo. right? Aren't they? Yeah. Aren't that all? Isn't that all? Like SeaWorld orca shows are gone, right? They're phasing them all out. The dolphins, I think, are next because you see those fuckers. They are so smart. Yeah, they're oh, yeah. too smart. You, they are so so smart. They, I, masturbating the whole time. They do crank they it. Do. Yeah, Let's they do. They like rape. They rape each other. They yeah. throw in whoa, bats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's bats. true. It's true. Let's go. The okay. They're very uh, dangerous. Guys, very can we not have uh, one dorsal <laughs> fin conversation? Yeah, okay. Jesus. Without you guys bringing up what dolphins do whenever there's a photo op situation. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Every single time, pretty much, at least once in the group that's taking the photo with the dolphins. Of course, the dolphins are gonna come up and give you a high five, okay? Uh -huh. Of course, you're gonna be able to ride on back. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, somebody in your group is gonna get one of those right on the back. Yeah, exactly. And Fox it's going. Doing business. And that's oh, just what? dolphin lifestyle. Yeah. So the dolphin. That is not a dolphin. Just wanna let everybody We're, know. No. <laughs> no. That is not a dolphin. That's Man, where are they? What are they on? I believe that's a Lolita Spa Day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean if they look Jim, at their, are they in the ocean? No. No, that's it. No. Yeah, that's the ocean. What, what, are you what do you think? What's the background? <laughs> okay. Is that a wall? What's the background? Yeah. yeah is that a wall? Is that an aquarium? It's a tank when then they come up and they Oh, now I see the tank. Mm -hmm. Now that you zoomed in, I can see the bars. I couldn't see the bars earlier. If Jim all right, has hey, that all right. Right. hey, happy you there. Smile. No, yeah, that's smiling. another thing. Like, that is, is that a smile or not? Yeah. That's How do we know what an animal's smile is? Do, the, oh, the, the face that that animal's making, mammal. I They've never right? smiled. They've never smiled in that tiny tank. You know that. Look at the know. size of that tongue. Imagine what that thing could do. Well, they rub it too, right? Whoa. They have to rub the yeah. tongue, yeah. suck the tongue. Yep. Like, Put you imagine what the, on there. Can you imagine the Dalai Lama seeing that thing? <laughs> suck my tongue. Well. <laughs> Ooh, it's got the fence. Jim had any gut sack, he'd fucking saw this thing in half and Whoa. wore his headdress out to the first game season <laughs> opener. <after Colts. laughs> you know how fucking cool that would be, Jim with a You're guitar. A You're a pig. His eyes looking through the eyes of a killer whale. <laughs> Come on, that is a killer mentality. I would think about switching. What are you bullying fans. the bully, huh? Is that what you say you got to do here? Lolita's living a great life. What's the life expectancy of these things? Do we yeah, know? 75 years or so. Yeah, in captivity or in the wild? Probably in the wild. Captivity is like one. Captivity is much less because once they kill a fucking 16 year old person who's making minimum wage, just trying to get a couple bucks to, you know, get McDonald's. <laughs> Over the summer. Yeah. Cool. yeah the, guess what? They're taking a shotgun out there and fucking riddling that thing. To yeah. Show. So you were wrong. Male killer whales is about oh, 30 right, right years, but they can live up to at least 60 years. Female typically live about 50 years, but can live up past. Oh, you were 100 percent right. 90 years in the wild. Females reach sexual maturity when they're between 10 and 13 years old. So the lead is way past that. You know, Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She is past her prime. She's going out into the ocean. Past her prime. She's living until she's 90. Yeah. She's good. She's got another 30 no. No, that, years. That Rogers doesn't, that doesn't nah. say what Man it's like to really transition from uh, mm -hmm. captive to wild. Hey, Lolita, we're pulling for you. Good luck, yeah, Lolita. Good luck, Lolita. You're going to need good. it. Father of 10 COVID survivor, AJ. Oh. Yay! Holy oh. shit, you look good, AJ. Whoa. What were you doing this weekend? Uh oh, am I glowing? You are. Yeah. Are you pregnant? You're pregnant. Holy. I might be. You never know. I never say never, I guess, right? Oh, that's a whole. That's a much bigger conversation to have. Yeah, I was going to say. You yeah. want to dive into that? That's The world's been talking about that a lot lately. What are you about talking that? about? What are you talking about? If I could get pregnant, you mean? I don't think I can. I don't think I'm equipped. I don't think I can either. But, I, I mean, they've been matters. saying, I, I don't think I can. No, you, you can't. Right, so. 
Thank God I can't. After watching what my wife has been through here. Help us get through the offseason. They gave us an exclusive link for 10% off any tickets. And for Pat's special day, he, and this is just from the read, they want to, us to sing Pat happy birthday it's one disgusting. more Hell time. Yeah. Don't do not happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Man. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Pat. Happy birthday to you. From all your friends at Seeky. <laughs> Definitely gonna crash. <clears throat> oh no. Watch out, Mike. <laughs> Get Mike on the back. Is there pegs on there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Can you imagine? How are you going to get that to the course? Drive it. Trailer, dude. You're going to ride it? Just ride it. Oh, yeah. boom. Yeah. Well, I'm on. <laughs> course right down the street. Just Anyways, thank you guys, and thank you, SeatGeek. Ticket Stooge, no need to do what you just did there. Mm -hmm. But I do thank you for everything. Today's been a very cool day. Allegedly, we have another what? I, you know, not to bury tickets to you. It wasn't actually on the sheet. I just figured oh. we might as well. Oh, asshole. Uh, I figured asshole. we might as well just jump uh, in okay. one more time. Nice trick. Good rib. I do like the fact that we got to see if that thing was still working was because sweet. once it sat for a little bit, a couple hours. You never know. Still had the juice, though. You need to get one of these bad boys, Rap. You need to get a, uh, the boys got me this scooter golf cart thing that I can take to golf courses. Where? goes 28 miles an hour. You put the clubs on the back of the thing. There's a cooler. Wow. There's a scorecard thing. Oh. There's, it's incredible. Yeah. And, and Wow. Yeah. It's a, it's, this thing's a boss. It really is. That looks amazing. Yeah. You need to get one of those. I think a lot can of I, um, the traditional. Can I borrow one. it? Uh, yeah, man. You show sure. This might be a little bit too. Uh, yeah. You might need to get a smaller one. Yeah. Cause yeah. you know how like the CCs and stuff. It. This one has three different. Yeah. Ge yeah he would have to be yeah. exactly. standing on the bottom and. Oh my <laughs> god. It'd be a low rider if you were sitting. It's no training wheels on this one, rep. Oh. I could he would have I could figure it out enough yeah. to ride it. I feel like I would be okay. You're right. I might crash a couple times, but I feel like I could get it. That was so rude. Are you good on two wheels? You have a motorcycle ever ride one or a scooter or anything like that? Uh, I have an electric scooter that I ride around town and take my boys to school, but I would not say it's exactly a high powered thing. Um, <laughs> so no, I would Hold on. So you got a GUI scooter? scooter? <laughs> what is this? You're is this uh... both your sons on the back of a scooter yeah. and taking them to school? No, 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 How does no, this no. work? They You're, ride, you're riding in the third ride seat? Bikes. No, they ride bikes, and then I ride oh, that's nice. just kind of like a stand-up scooter, but it's got a, a motor, so I just kind of, or, you know. Oh, a bird. Like, you got a bird. I got a bird. Basically, I got a bird, yes. Okay, uh, okay, okay. 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 I'm happy Not that, a real scooter. I'm happy that it's made people more athletic, I think, the bird and Absolutely. everything like that. Balance. Now, there has been some devastating injuries that have come from the bird app. Somebody we know blew out their entire shoulder, worse than any quarterback has ever done mm -hmm. on a football There's, field. Who did? Yeah, he just got married. That, that's Nick Marola. That's oh, back in record time, though. Collarbone. Broke his collarbone, had a big bump, and also oh the shoulder God. got maybe a little AC yeah. joint. Oh, yeah, I was angles. hammered drunk. Hammered drunk. What? And these Indiana potholes are no joke. No, <laughs> keep an eye out. They are always sober, too. They're ready to fuck you up that's at any right. time, and they did. Nick, boom, yeah. Sam Bradford. Yep. Damn. Oh, Rap, man. you just got a picture of your family. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of nice. weird. Lee is not nice. driving. All right. Um, let's move along to some NFL football stuff. Rap, congrats on the great work at the draft. You crushed it. All right, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for wishing it. me a happy birthday yesterday. Very, very kind of you. You predicted that I was 40 years old, and when I said I wasn't, you said, oh, you're still young. So I thank you for the kind words and being a good person. Hey, Alex, I appreciate the hell out of you, man. All right. Oh, oh shit. Ooh, love, you. Love, love, love you too, Alex. Love you too, Alex. Love you, Alex. Love you too. Love you, Alex. That's very kind of Alex. I did not know that was what that call was going to be. Glass is a little bit foggy. You need to clean them. Need a window cleaner. Was he <laughs> from Oklahoma? That's an important too? job. That's right. Isn't it? AJ? I know a guy. Window yeah. cleaner. What happened? What's going on? I don't know about. Oh, there's the greatest window cleaner in Pittsburgh That's that right. we know. Mm -hmm. just oh, you mean your your bud? Yeah, he just got an award. Mm -hmm. Best window cleaning in the 412. Really? Congrats. Congratulations, wow. Joe. Let's go, Let's go. Joe. Congrats, Joe. Wait, the fucking Tribune Review gave him it? No, no, no. It was another It was another uh, prestigious the establishment. Society of Window Cleaners? No, no. I, I don't know if it was the the actual cleaners Better themselves. Better Business Bureau? Uh, it was somebody. Is somebody. It, it was yeah. the best cleaning in all Pittsburgh. All yeah. Pittsburgh. That's all good I Good job, Joe. I saw the headline. Joe's good dude. I met Joe. Yeah, Joe's good dude. Boom. Taking over the Midwest, so.
Joe's, yeah. uh, Joe's a hippie music artist. Oh, it looks out the Valley News Dispatch. Mm -hmm. gave to him. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Valley News. I never won an award from them. I was runner up. <laughs> I was runner up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Andy. Is he good? Is he good with the squeegee? You know, the, I watch those guys do the squeegee when they don't even have to wipe it once. They do a gigantic window. Is he good? Like a He's an artist. Break Did you not see him? He was, he was holding a hippie guitar right there, cigarette out of his mouth. You don't think he's fucking wax on? Yeah. Wax on? Yeah. Yeah. You should film a commercial for him then. He has a secret though. The, uh, That's a good homeless, idea. The homeless guy that he killed, he took his skin and he uses it as the squeegee <laughs> so that it, it actually works really well. What? <laughs> that is yeah. not true. Could be. That is not true. I heard Mark Could Madden be. say that once, too. Mark Madden is a local sports talk legend who has had the highest ratings in Pittsburgh radio for 20 Whoa. years. I, Suck it. I would That's assume 20 years. As well. He just goes crazy. One, One day out of nowhere, and I don't know the origin story, so I think Nick would have to say this. Mark Madden was their coach. They were world ball hockey champions. They actually traveled to go play deck hockey, ball hockey against people in other countries. And then somehow, some way, Joe Hadley, like all world, actual ball mm -hmm. hockey, can't hang it up. Loves the sport too much. Loves it. <laughs> Lives for it. At, at this age, yep. Every, two times a week, he's going out on that deck mm -hmm. and he's giving it everything he's got. He's like Ram, uh, Ram Jam, Ram Jam. Oh yeah, uh, Randy Robinson. He's yep. like Randy, Randy, Randy the Robinson. Ram. Mm -hmm. But Mark Madden just started saying this guy killed a guy just yeah. on his show at Sugar Plum Days. It, it, no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> Sugar Plum Days was not the beginning of his murder. <laughs> what? That's what he said. That's what Double M said. Yeah. This is a real kid. That's what the though. police report said too. This is a real human, and this is like on Pittsburgh Air. Yeah. So, Joe, meet somebody who listens to Manny. You killed a guy. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this guy's cleaning windows. That's a thing. That is a, he yeah. murdered a guy. That's your first thoughts when he's We know him in high school. We've known him a long time. Mm -hmm. Diggs goes, yeah, he killed a homeless guy. Like, that's That was something that was yeah. said known throughout for, Pittsburgh. Known him for a long time. And when I first saw, her, saw and heard that report, I said, makes complete sense. Yep. Certainly capable. He did not murder a homeless person, though. No. Allegedly. The person had a house, you're saying? <laughs> All right. Let's get to a break. <laughs> no, the guy did not have a house. He didn't kill anybody. He's a lover. He's a big teddy bear. He's a good yeah. guy. And also, he doesn't want us to make a commercial because he doesn't want any more clients. Yeah, he, he wants less yeah. clients. <laughs> yeah. He's packed. He's going to hate this every time you talk. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I'm so mad. That's why it just happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is he on the internet? Like, does he, is he aware of everything? So we, we just got a text. Uh, we just got a text. God damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, if you need your windows clean, though, by the greatest in the city. Yep. Joe's your guy. Joe's your guy. guy. Let's go. Find his number. Call him. Get his services. Yeah. Windows get will never a website, be that clean. Man. You will not regret it. Yeah, we need it. Like we do need a website so people can email. Yeah, mm -hmm. click this link. Yeah. <laughs> link in the bio. Award-winning window cleaner. Yeah. Give his home address. All right, let's get to a break. Yeah. Shout out, Joe. Way to go, Joe. Joe. Way to go, Joe. Happy, Happy, you, Joe. Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Joe said Happy it birthday, would. Joe. Joe said it would be the cleanest windows of all time. Yeah. Yeah. They were. Mm -hmm. Let's get to a break. My writers are on strike. I got nothing to fucking go oh, off of. Thank shit. you. As we go out, thank you for reminding me. We thought about, you know, having to suspend the show because the writers strike. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And us and everybody else in sports said, do you have that smaller brains? Use AI. That you can't do a show if you don't have a slew of writers around you? You can't just create something? That's crop. That's crop. That's, That's crop. crop. This was very surprising to me. The shows that they said were going to be done because writers aren't available. Yeah. I'm like, what? SNL, we I get. That makes sense. The late night guys. Always... Late night guys are hiring themselves, right? That's well. What I'm saying is, late night guys like you are. That's yeah. why you're a late I mean, night guy. That's another conversation. The whole right. late night, all of that stuff. Yeah, but that's a part of it. Like, mm -hmm. hey, absolutely. That's a thing of the past. All of that. I feel like, dude. I used to love late night. Man, I fucking yeah. Love yeah did you hear what they said about the Corden show though? Oh, yeah. They were losing millions of dollars. Said it cost that. $60 million to produce that show yearly. Yeah. Why? $60 million? That's because they shut 60. down that street yep. to do the fucking yeah. uh, Bing. Exactly. <laughs> the full thing. Carpool karaoke. Carp yeah, there it is. See, I think James is a talented guy. Abs yeah. I think he's yep. created good ideas. $60 million a year? Yeah. 60. Is that and now, yes. every, and now yeah. people are hearing that he's you know kind of a prick to people, and people are sick and tired allegedly, of him. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. But a lot of people are calling no, him. No, you don't have to say uh, allegedly. He's not American. A fat English piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> people are sick of him. <laughs> you two are scumbags. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's been a hell of a day. Congrats to all the winners that got announced throughout today. A lot of money out there. 
20 million a year, not 60 million. That's not Still. the article I read. Still crop. No, 20. He was losing 20. He, yeah, it, it, bingo. So, yeah, it, yeah, it was losing. So, so 20, 40 million 60, to do it. Yeah. Bringing in 40, costing 60. Bingo. Okay, so ne okay. negative 20. Okay, so costing sixty. Yeah. That is still that's the story. A lot of money. That is still the storyline in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I, I didn't. I. I really. Lights. And I got nothing but respect for talented writers and brains. Absolutely. Okay. Nothing but respect for the creatives. If you feel like you need more money, go ahead, go, go get it. Yeah, we're streaming. Okay. Now you've you've agreed to a lot of these deals for a long time that you're saying wasn't giving you home. So like, a lot of people will think like, well, why didn't you guys just handle your business differently? Some of you weren't able to. Okay, because of everything that happened. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Get your money. I hope if somebody's making money, you guys should make money because writers are a very talented thing. But some of these shows saying we can't <laughs> operate anymore because we don't got writers. I'm like, that's crop. That's <laughs> yeah. crop. A lot of hey, crop. That's, huh? that's crop. It's going to be tough to take you serious going forward. Just want to let you know that. But unless they're just standing, maybe, is it unity or is it actual I ability? I think that's a big part of it. Yeah, supporting them. Do they say it's unity because? Mm. Could be. Don't uh, you dare cross that fucking yeah. picket line. The Ace is going to score a Hattie or what? He, hey, you know what? I, I expect I, Jackie Aces is going to be money in this because remember, those guys went one, two in the draft Connor McDavid, Jack Eichel. And it was all, well, which one's better? I mean, these are both elite franchise guys. Connor's kind of run away. You know, Jack's had injury issues, obviously switched teams. So I think, I think Jackie's Jack Eichel's going to be on. Right? Jackie's yeah. American. Yeah. Yeah. McDavid is a Canadian. Yeah. yeah. One, two, right? Yeah. 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 That was the yeah. draft pick, one, two. Yeah. yeah, one, two. So Jackie's been getting compared to. A guy who has Jesus Christ in his name? Yeah, that's right. That's tough, dude, isn't it? That is. That's a tough go. He's got is. aces in his name, though. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Reasonable. Pocket. Hell yeah. Yeah, and I, you got oh. that. I, that's what I said to you before. He almost, he almost potted that in the first round, right? He had two goals early on that game. Yep. I'm like, he's going to get an empty netter. Pat's going to – you guys are going to have to be – because you, know, you said that you did that with Flower too, remember? What yeah. was Flower? The goalie goal. Yeah, yeah goalie goal. Which we had one this year. And yeah. he said, Mike, and Flower he said he's, he was thinking about it. Like he, he was thinking about it a number of times. He's always wanted where to score you, a goalie where goal. You, where are you from? Where who from? Are you just doing like the hockey accent? Hey, he said a, boat. a boat. A boat. A boat. Oh, did I do hey, it? I have, a, it I, have a, I have a chopped one, up. Man. I have a chopped up language because. You know, hang out with Canadians all the time, so you kind of pick up that. But no. I'm, hey, good country, huh? Canada. Yeah, it's nice. They're nice. I was people. gonna say, he hangs out with Russians all the time. He didn't pick up communism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, where'd that go, rapper? <laughs> so accent and communism. Yeah. yeah. Okay, similar things you just pick up. Two yeah. things you pick up in hockey What's, locker room. Brian Kelly would be fucked. You put him in one Russian <laughs> oh, restaurant because he went down there to Louisiana. If I am, he was what? Twenty uh -huh. minutes later, he just picked yeah. up their accent. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't even fathom how quick communism would get. Oh. Up. He'd be in the oh, KGB. My. Same thing you're saying. Accent. Actually, right. he kind of runs his program <laughs> already like that. So. He does a little bit. Yeah, he does. Germany, two games this year. So it's not just like the, you know how last year in London they had that crew stay over there for two weeks? This year, Germany, it feels as though would be the uh, move because of that time. Over. Germany would be sweet. And they got yeah. two good games, I believe. I think the Chiefs are playing over there this year. So. Das Boot out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It should be around Oktoberfest. Oh, that's a perfect time to go. Oh, this is like the Kentucky Derby. I should probably not go over there for this. Wow. We should go to the Ryder Cup. Baby. We should go to the Ryder Cup instead. No, Keep Oktoberfest is a good time. They got people doing coke off each other's dongs. Yeah. It's great. Oh, that's, that's, that's what I'm what saying. Yeah. That was some of my favorite out. internet of all time. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of that. Oktoberfest really took over. It's on internet. camera? Yeah I'll, send oh, it. yeah, I'll send it to you. I got it saved. So from what I've heard, Oktoberfest is literally just a massive parking lot that they put a hmm. huge tent over. Yeah. I think. And it is bananas in there. It's like its own world. Every I've city? heard it's a great time. No, just it's Munich, I believe. Oh, okay. I believe it's Munich. Cocaine off dongs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're doing that this weekend. <laughs> 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 Been a little mouthy today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the phone. Come on. Let's go to Gus in Wisconsin on the <laughs> five hours. ultimate power move to make someone do it? Coke off your dong? Is that like the, hey, I'm the alpha here? I haven't <laughs> dove into the alpha scale on who's <laughs> alpha and who there, but. Uh, it was, I'm sure you'll figure it out by eyes, the end. I'll keep yeah. my eyes open and see what happens. Uh, Bobby, I saw Bobby and Schlegs. They came over to my house uh, two nights ago. It was awesome. It was oh, was Aaron, Aaron pissed? Was Aaron pissed? Because he didn't get invited? Did you guys do the That's how you got him back? You guys do so. the elephant walk? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> what the You hell? guys need to grow up. Yeah, Can you we're... explain that? Explain that to this for maybe some Jesus. of the young kids that don't know what you're talking about. Not going to do that, AJ. Okay, all right. I'm just saying. You you threw it out there. I thought you'd want to explain it. I actually it. heard that the other day for the first time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. First time. Huh? I swear to God, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I saw something where the dude that did the Human Centipede movie, like the guy that produced it or directed it, that guy was like a he's like a real film person. What do you know you, that? Well, yeah, it's a it's, it's a, a movie, it's a real movie. But he like takes himself doing? serious, and he's like a he was like a legit thespian. Like was, he really took was, his gig serious. It was Scorsese. I don't know if Scorsese was do was you know sewing faces to butts, but I don't know. What a guy was can't he? be serious because he's sewing lips to buttholes and <laughs> yeah. you know has an artistic vision it, for it. It took it. It made me. It, I had to hesitate for a second at this the seriousness at which he talked about that movie and making that movie in the process of it because of what it is and what I've seen from it. You, you know? got to keep in mind it's art. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not judging it. Trust me. I'm not. We're talking about it right now, and I've mentioned it many times throughout my life, but. I wonder if Pac-Man's completely in the dark. You think he has any idea? Pac-Man, you know what human centipede is? No. No, he doesn't have probably, any idea, AJ. <laughs> probably a safe bet. Probably good to just stay stay naive to this one, Pac. It won't help you. But when you kind of put yourself out there, I feel like you kind of have to answer those questions. And Braun never scored 40. Like, realistically, he could have got back on there like, what? Still yeah. scored 40 on me, bitch. I mean, well, I, right. said I poke bears, and I only respect until they score 40. Maybe he was worried he was going to fight the media. Like, AJ, didn't, wasn't that you in the corner of the locker room the one time when you were sitting down with your towel on and you tried fighting that reporter potentially? Oh, yeah, and then uh, after that sack, he flipped uh, off all the media members. Yeah, yeah. That That's who he was telling to go mm -hmm. fuck themselves. Well, no, but uh, Pac-Man, I think, uh, I don't know if you remember this, <laughs> Pac. You were... Smile on Pac's face. Pac was... Um, Getting interviewed after an away game I somewhere. Was the year I was in the bank. The <laughs> it was my favorite. Interview. And for some reason, they did a live interview in the locker room with Pac shortly after the game. And in the background, I think Andrew Whitworth, his his little cakes were on air. They got they got his butt cheeks on camera, <laughs> and guys yeah. were changing stuff. And it's and I'm like, how do you go live from the locker room? I remember Whit was pissed. I think. And you remember that Pac? Yeah, I do. Um, do you, did you know at the moment that there was naked dudes behind you on camera? I didn't know at the moment, but it, it was it was like that. And it, they actually yeah. aired the shit on TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's wild. Which cheeks were on fucking TV? Uh, I think Whitworth was. And Whitworth. I talked to uh, Eifert came out. I, I remember talking to Eifert afterwards. Eifert's like, man, if I would have known that, I would have I would put a towel up top and walked just dong out all over the place <laughs> on that thing. Well, was that the awesome. week before or after you did the sit and gum trick to all the reporters <laughs> when they were at your locker? I can't remember. To the reporters. Can you imagine? You get put in jail if you did that. <laughs> Back no, then, no, no, not. No, because you were just AJ doing Hawk. you were just doing locker room stuff in the locker room. They just happened to be in there. Is that how it works? Is, I think I'm so. good then. Oh locker God. room prank. That's what I thought. Just, do you explain? Do you explain what the bubble gum trick is, Ty, to someone that might not know? Yeah, classic sit and gum trick is uh, where you know you just kind of like maybe after you've taken a shower, so uh, your your nutsack has a little more elasticity yeah. because of the hanging hot water. A bit. Yeah, exactly, hanging a tiny bit. Uh, and you go down, and right when you sit down, go, oh, shit, satin gum, and then you kind of just pinch a piece of your nutsack mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> stick it to your leg and yeah. bring it out like you sat in you know, a, a big pile of bubblicious or something. Yeah, like kind of like when Johnny Knoxville uh, did the bad grandpa uh, bit, and he had right. one of his nuts hanging out of his oh, short yeah. shorts. <laughs> exactly. See, <it's> similar <laughs> to that. AJ and I were actually talking about this uh, last week, and he's like, Ty always says that, but he's wrong. I was more of a bat wing guy. Oh, sure, so, sure. Really? Yeah. I need to know what that one is. Oh, you same thing, you know, testicles, and you just fucking pull it as as wide as you can. It looks like a bat wing. Okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. See, when we were on the Super Bowl, oh, AJ that told one, me no. he was. I a don't big, know what that is. He told me he was a big goat guy. He said I always do yeah, goat. goat. That's how I get goat people. cheeseburger. AJ, you guys I did, are sick. I don't know what any what of these. What the hell are. is cheeseburger? What the hell's oh, going on right now? <laughs> You've never what seen What are you guys doing? Like, Man, your guys did locker rooms didn't live. Um, what the hell is the goat? I I have tell no you what, clue. our locker room did not do though. What those pictures that you sent me yesterday of Oktoberfest, what they were doing? Should we call Bobby? And somebody, ask him? somebody did send me pictures. I actually haven't clicked on the videos to see you guys doing coke off other dudes' dongs. Is well, that what it is in the videos you sent me? Apparently, uh, people do fake cocaine in Oktoberfest. I did not know this until I the show yesterday. Why? Because how can you tell if it's real or fake? So then everybody's doing blow, and you don't know which ones are actually oh. doing blow. Yeah, there's some kind of like fake oh cocaine that's God. that's legal that um, people are like going crazy for over there, and I think that is part of the reason. Is like, hey, this is the this is the legal stuff. You can't you now. Granted, I'm oh. sniffing it off this guy's dong, so maybe you, you know, <laughs> indecent exposure. But you can't get me for doing coke because it's the legal stuff.